So a drop-down list is something that has a data source like the gallery, has a listing of records, but it's only gonna display one at a time. So if I hold down Alt, click on the little Chevron, you see in this particular case, there's three records. And if we actually look at the items, it says drop-down sample. So that is a keyword within um, Power Apps that you can use for a list. If you just want a sample, you could use that. But here it's actually telling us to connect to accounts. So we'll type in accounts, there we go. And if I hold on Alt, you'll see, there we go. So let's go over to the spreadsheet in this other tab. So uh, there's two tabs here. There's contacts and accounts. So click on accounts. So you'll see here, it's actually pulling up the city and they might want the name primary contact. Let's go back here and check that. It said, use the advanced panel to select name as the column to be displayed. So instead of city, we'll select name. Very good. Select Microsoft in the drop down to complete the exercise. All right. So I'm going to select Microsoft and it looks like they're sorted alphabetically. That's nice. However, if it wasn't, as you've learned in the previous lessons here, we can type in sort and we could say name. And if you want it descendingly, we'll try something new here, descending. So you sort of stack all these different skills you're learning as we as we move along here, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go select Microsoft and click next now. Did you know this is a part of a 20 part series which goes over all the basics of Power Apps? Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can condense six months of Power Up struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Up Deep Dive Masterclass.